Hello, I'm Kent McDill. Here's a fun fact you may not know. There's an automobile racing circuit that uses electric cars. It's the Formula E racing series that began in 2014 and, according to all reports, is succeeding. Did you also know that electric cars are being manufactured now that can defeat, can defeat combustion engine automobiles in straight line racing? The Tesla Model S has a 2.8 second 0 to 60 sprint top speed that is among the world's fastest accelerating production cars. The topic of racing electric cars is now warming up thanks to Bill Nye the Science Guy, who posted a blog recently asking NASCAR to consider going electric. According to Nye, petroleum-fueled combustion engine racing, quote, is a celebration of old tech. It uses gasoline burning instead of electron flowing, unquote. Nye wrote that an electric NASCAR race, quote, would be faster and quiet. You could talk to the person next to you. The drivers could probably hear the roar of the crowd rather than having to imagine it as they do now. The goal for Nye is to assist in reducing our nation's dependence on fossil fuels. He notes that an electric NASCAR would serve as an example to all the people who watch and care about NASCAR racing, many of whom race themselves and have pride in their fossil fuel burning vehicles. Nye points out that electric cars as yet are not designed for racing, and if the minds that develop NASCAR vehicles decided to put their efforts towards designing an electric race car, the results could be revolutionary. Nye's blog came out in early February at a time when the price of gasoline uh, dropped to a level not previously seen in a decade at least. There is a glut of pro pro processed petroleum on the market today, and the sale of fuel-guzzling vehicles like some SUVs is increasing once again. But none of that changes the fact that oil is a limited resource. Despite today's glut, the oil being taken from the ground will never be replaced by nature. NASCAR not only uses a lot of gasoline, it uses it inefficiently, as racing tends to burn fuel at a low miles per gallon ratio. Burning such fuel adds to the carbon dioxide emissions which lead to climate change. NASCAR, by the way, has done its part to cut emissions already. They switched their vehicles to electronic fuel injection rather than using carburetors, and they use fuel made up of 15% ethanol. But NASCAR insiders will tell you that today's electric motored cars would not last on a NASCAR race. As currently designed, electric batteries require regenerative charging that comes from braking, and NASCAR racers do little braking. Electric batteries also suffer from overheating. But Nye dreams of a day when NASCAR embraces electric racing. As he explains, instead of refueling a gas tank, the electric race car pit crew would change battery packs. The car would be designed to roll up a ramp. The battery pack would be disconnected and dropped out. Moments later, a fresh battery pack would be lifted into place and off our electric racer would go with time in the pit comparable to what it takes to refuel and service a conventional gas-powered race car. Sounds good to me. I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.